we have been protected from uh, <coughs> all this time, the pandemic everywhere. And I especially yesterday, early in the morning, I think about Timothy. When Timothy, Titus' older brother, was in a Rhode Island, in Brown University. When we have a bad time over here on pandemic COVID-19 in New York City, booming in New York City, but uh, Rhode Island have nothing safe. But after <coughs> he finished the school and came back, uh, leave Rhode Island right now, and after that, they have big problem. They are booming right up there now, right now. So don't go to Arcadia or even Vermont, Massachusetts, all those places. They are booming in COVID-19. So I was thinking about God was blessing, especially protected uh, <coughs> Timothy. And uh, he was very blessed. <clears throat> and I was thinking about very soon we can be free from the threat of all this pandemic. Uh, but suddenly there's this Omicron, O M I C R O N. Omicron, this thing is 10 times worse than data, Delta and begin to spread. So I don't know what will, how this thing going to end. But one thing I know that is God will uh, protect us and uh, help us to uh, cope, continue to wear this. And as I say, this time, the Chinese people in New York City are blessed because they, many of them, willing to wear masks and a lot of people rather die or get it affected but will not they don't want to wear it okay today we come to uh, thanksgiving 2021 thanksgiving 2021 for people in the world, they give thanks to God when they get good things to eat, when they have a big fortune fall on their lap, uh, anything that they enjoy physical life, those things, they were very happy and thank you to God. But for me, I'm different by the grace of God. The joy of knowing the truth in the Bible. This is the most blessed, blessed and joyful feeling. Especially when you know that God has allowed <coughs> you to know the truth. That Western people, 1500 years, they can translate all kinds of different Bible, but not one correctly translated on certain point of the Bible, then you feel very honored that God has granted us specially to know this truth combined collective together with so so they waste so much money and so much people power, so much time, but still fail to discover the true in a very important part in our salvation then we enjoy the blessing that we feel happy about knowing the truth is a great blessing to thank God Apostle Peter declared this way according to his divine power God has given us all things, remember, all things per, that pertain to life and godliness. 
all things that we need on how to live a good life, physical life on earth. And godliness is about following Jesus according to the truth in the Bible. Through the knowledge of Him that had called us to glory and virtue. This is a very important one, okay? <clears throat> Remember, all things have been given and written in the New Testament Bible. That's why when we come to debate about what says in the Bible, we, we don't ask why. We ask which chapter and which verse. Where is the scripture that record it in the Bible? Just a yes or a no. No reason. Because wicked people, evil people, always have a lot of reason not to obey. <clears throat> One thing we want to remember is all the truth has been given. Above all, you must know that no prophecy of scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation. This is very important. Okay? Nobody can say, I have my own way of understanding what the scripture says. We have a different way. You cannot have a different way. Because the scripture makes it very clear right here. No prophet, no preacher can explain the Bible the way he wants. For no prophecy ever came by the will of man, but man spoke from God being carried along, it is better for you, you can say carry along, moved by the Holy Spirit. And what is different? When you read one scripture, God will reveal to you the next connection. Now, after this, we up, or today, we will show you how it works. <coughs> Apostle Paul has wrote uh, letters and epistles speaking in them all this time wherein are something hard to understand okay some of them that he wrote in the <coughs> in the bible about half of the new testament bible some of them are hard to understand and here he says which the ignorant, the Bible says they're ignorant and unsteadfast. This word rest, uh, read the same way, R-E-S-T, like restroom, rest. Take a rest, where the W still read rest. Okay, but this rest, this rest is, what does this mean? I'm not very good on this, so I search this. The dictionary, it says you torture the language to make it mean something else, different from the originally intended meaning. Does it make sense? That's why the Chinese translation is much better. Here, in the Chinese translation, this one, the Chinese letter, make it very good, okay? The best translation in Chinese, Chang Jie. In English, you read a sentence, you torture this sentence, force it to mean a full sense. That means different from the original intended meaning. This is what original text rest, that's what it means. Okay, they make it different from what it really means. This is very bad. And they will go to hell to their own destruction. See that? To their own destruction. That means our simple language says they will go to hell. Okay, they torture the scripture to make it different from the original intended meaning. And they go to hell. And according to what I have found, all the English translation, Chinese translation, all the Bible translation have failed.
to come up with the right translation. They torture the scripture to mean something different. And that's why it makes it so hard for people to understand the truth because they do not translate it correctly or faithfully. <coughs> uh, and then they go to hell for it, okay? Apostle Paul wrote this, but even if we, you see, including himself, or an angel from heaven should preach a gospel other than the one we already preach to you, and let him be according to <coughs> according to the original text, the word eternal is not there. Okay? Will be condemned, that's all. Okay? Anyone who teach anything different from what says in the Bible will go to hell. And he repeated one more time. As we have already said, so now I say again. That means very important. You cannot miss it. If anyone is preaching to you a gospel other than what you have already accepted, and remember the first time, the first time that we came to Galicia to preach the gospel to you, that was the right one. A few years later, and I come back, and if I preach different, I'll go to hell too. That's what he means, okay? Uh, so that's why he said, as we have already said, so now I say again, if anybody is preaching to you a gospel other than what you accepted, let him be eternally condemned again. <coughs> I want you to know, brothers, that the gospel and priest is not something man made up. I, I did not get it from somebody or somebody else. Okay? By the grace of God, I can say about the same thing. In my theology school training, we learn a set already figured out by the professor. Uh, I think uh, I think a machine knows this very well. Machine has a PhD, right? You have a set of counseling pattern from so and so inherited. Okay, the professor taught us this set of rules, this set of ways. Then you just practice it. Of course, hopefully, during your practice. You can improve or refine whatever needs to be improved. Okay? That's normal way. Everybody do that. In the scripture, in the preaching, same thing. <coughs> I was taught to pattern famous, successful preachers. How they preach, how they interpret, whatever way they use, we try to do that because we want to be as successful, what they so called, as successful as they do. That's why, <clears throat> but Apostle Paul said it differently. He said, <clears throat> he said, I want you to know, something I preach not by man, not from a professor. And I did not receive it from any man, nor was I told it, not from myself, not from people. I receive it by revelation from Jesus Christ. Very important. Okay, nowadays we say, I found it from the Bible. The difference is, I found it from the original text, the originally intended meaning. <clears throat> Number three now, the truth is able to save your soul. Very important. If you know the truth, this too can save your soul. But in the world, people do not know, they don't think it is important. But in reality, in the knowledge of the Bible, it is the most important in our life. That's why today, in a Thanksgiving time, uh, I want to thank God for knowing, for revealing to us that we can know the truth in the Bible. And this too can save our soul. When our soul is safe and become healthy, our soul can control our physical body. Okay? 
especially in counseling, the soul, we counsel the soul, try to heal the soul, and the soul can heal the body, and direct the body, live a healthy way. You have less physical sickness, especially mental disease, because your soul is safe and healthy. If you read Romans chapter 7, you will know that. If the soul is not healthy, the flesh and the world sin can influence and lock up the soul so the body can do evil or things that are not good for anybody. Therefore, you have to get rid of all moral fear and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly this is right translation. Uh, for those who know Chinese, uh, the Chinese translation is wrong. Okay? This is wrong. Gentle. But here, humble is the right. Humble. Okay? You have to humble yourself. Willing to accept teaching from the Bible. <coughs> of course, someone I have hurt some people, especially Chinese scholar, scholars, okay? Uh, this morning I read a, a very sad article published in a newspaper saying that America was established originally with the spirit of Christianity. America is supposed to be a uh, tranquil beautiful place to live a life. But nowadays, especially in Oregon, San Francisco, you want to pray for your brother, San Francisco. A lot of Chinese establishment in that area, okay, they will break into, rob, okay, steal so many pop and trouble. And this article say it's not supposed to be like that. We are a Christianity country. In a Christianity country, this thing cannot happen. But it happened. Okay? This is how and why all this year I know that Christianity people do not believe Jesus. Remember that. If you believe Jesus, you are not a Christianity people. Christianity people never believe Jesus. If they force themselves, they torture the scripture, if they torture the scripture to support Christianity people believe Jesus, then according to John chapter 8, 31 to 59, the whole section of the scripture, John chapter 8, 31 and 59. Jesus told them, those who claim that Jesus is, uh, that they already believe Jesus. But Jesus told them, they belong to Satan. Jesus told them, they do not believe him. Okay? Jesus said. And especially at that time, Jesus said one very sad thing. Why are you calling me Lord, Lord, but not obey what I say? You see, very sad statement to me, sad, S-A-D, sad statement. 2,000 years ago, the Jewish people, Israelites, claimed that they believed Jesus but they refuse to obey what he said, to practice what he says. This is exactly the same thing. Christianity people, they claim, they call Jesus Lord, Lord, but they never try, even try to obey what he said. And that is tragic. Because you will to soul, save your soul. You have to get rid of all this moral fear, evil, and humbly are uh, set. So there are a lot of philosophies, especially Greek philosophies. 
They have the Greek New Testament Bible. But they instead, they love Greek philosophy. Okay? But for Chinese, I think Confucius, Confucianism is 10 times, 100 times better than Greek philosophy. Okay? I said that. People can disagree, but they cannot argue with me because I know how it works. But when it comes to the Bible, the Bible is much better than Confucius teaching. Sanctify them by the truth. Your word is true, the Bible. You read the Bible, believe in Jesus, save your soul, and train your soul. Establish your soul, make your soul stay healthy. Your soul will keep your body live a good life. Therefore, rid yourself of all malice and deceit, hypocrisy, envy, slander of every kind. Like newborn babies, crave, she craved for the scripture, so they, so that by the scripture that you know. Remember, pure scripture, real truth. You may grow up in your salvation. Grow up in your salvation. For those who read Chinese, remember, the Chinese translation is wrong over here. I have made it, I changed it, okay, corrected it. Uh, grow up in your salvation. When we believe and get baptized, we are a baby. We will grow up. How can you grow up? Physically, you have to suck milk. When in, in the beginning, baby suck milk. You don't call it eat milk. Okay, they don't drink milk. They cannot do it. <clears throat> then you can grow in your salvation. Now I commit you to God and to the word of His grace. The word, okay? The Bible, the truth in the Bible. Word. The word cannot build you up and give you salvation in heaven. That's what that means. Keep you sanctified. You see, the word, the truth in the Bible and can build you up and give you sanctify, sanctify the life so you can get you to heaven. Okay? That's how important to know the truth. That's why today I'm here. I keep saying, actually, all the time, I keep saying, by the grace of God, by the grace of God. Thanks to God that we are granted the opportunity to learn the truth in the Bible, the original intended. Okay, that truth. And as I say, I even discover Proverbs chapter 2, verse 7. Proverbs chapter 2, verse 7. Lots of people translate it wrong. That scripture says, God specially lay true sound wisdom in store for people who seek to do righteousness. Remember, this thing called believe Jesus, righteousness is the most important point, the center, not love. Righteousness. Okay? If you do not have righteousness, you do not know how to love. Okay? Your love will become very messy and create lots of problems. And that's what happened in all over the world. Remember, a righteousness from God, that righteousness is the center of all life. That's why all this year I have come I have constant what well, condensed to three lines. You want peace? Everybody want peace. Everybody like peace. Everybody want peace. You want trouble? No, I don't want trouble. If somebody comes to bother you say, please leave me alone, I don't want trouble. See? Everybody will, I don't want trouble. Nobody wants trouble. Everybody wants peace. You want peace? Easy. 
Number one, believe Jesus. Number two, obey law. Number three, do righteousness. Okay? This is the best I can come up. I imagine, remember, share that. When your patient come in, your student come in, you want peace? Good. Believe Jesus, according to the Bible. Obey law. Do righteousness. You don't have to talk about love. You will have peace. Of course, you don't want to say you don't need love, okay? <laughs> you have peace. Okay, believe Jesus. Why do, why do we have to believe Jesus? Because if you don't believe Jesus, you don't have a all-accepted all standard, forever unchanging standard. The scripture, the word of God, unchanging, that's very important. Unchanging state, uh, standard. <clears throat> and then you can have salvation. That's why we are very thankful I'm my, for myself, I'm very thankful to God. I was granted the opportunity to discover the truth. Now, this is the hard part. You have to find evangelists. Have to be genuine evangelists. Do you know in my personal business card, this is the word evangelist. Okay? You have Church of Christ, big letter word. And then you have John Chen, and then you have Evangelist. That's my <coughs> title. You have to have genuine Evangelist. Beware of false prophet. They are in sheep clothing. Okay? Remember, what sheep clothing mean? They are in sheep clothing. Remember, always remember. False preacher, they all in front of you, they all behave very nice, very gentle, very generous, very good people, maybe the best kind of people. They appear in front of you, everything rosy, everything sweet smelling. But in there is a wolf. Very dangerous. Remember that. They all have. You got to have good things, people love, then they follow you. Okay? This is the point. But how do you recognize them? By their fruit, you recognize them. Remember, their fruit is not their behavior. Their fruit is, after their preaching, what kind of church they organize. Okay? After their preaching, what kind of church they organize? That is their fruit. Remember, remember the fruit of a preacher. See, this is this church of Christ is a fruit of this preacher. Even this event, the fruit. This is the fruit. Okay, the church, not their good behavior. Okay, false preacher can have very sweet, genuine, whatever clean, whatever uh, <coughs> behavior. It is the kind of church they organize. To eventually Timothy, Apostle Paul said this, very important. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who has not, who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handle the word of truth. This is, this is the job of evangelists. Correctly handle the word of truth. How to explain? How to divide the scripture? This is a genuine evangelist have to do. And by the grace of God, I'm very thankful to God. I say thank you to God all the time that I found, I get to found all this truth. But you keep your head in all situations and do hardship, do the work of evangelists. The work of evangelists is doing what? Discharge all the duty of your ministry. Discharge. Okay? The work of evangelists. 
this is the fruit. <coughs> now, as I said, the hard part is to find a preacher who is willing to devote his time to understand the scripture. One classic example here. God also make us sufficient as ministers of a new covenant, not, uh, not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. Now here's the point, the letter, the word letter, and the word spirit. What's the false prophet? False prophet twist or rest with a W, okay, at the front. Otherwise, you like to go rest from that rest, okay, with a W up at the front. False prophets will rest the truth to their destruction. They'll go to hell. This is how they do it. They'll say the word letter is words printed on paper. Like every Bible, when you open up a Bible, you have words printed on paper. After you read the word printed on paper, the Holy Spirit, if you pray to the Holy Spirit, okay? Spirit means you pray. After you read the word, you pray to the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will give you the true meaning of the word. So after you read, <coughs> now let me give you one good example. Huh? How to memorize John 3.16. All the Chinese read believers, they, they can memorize John 3.16. Gospel, uh, the Chinese people, okay? The English people, they got it, but they still misunderstand it. And that's a tragic part. The Chinese people, all over the world, all the Chinese people believe Jesus, they know how to memorize that verse, that verse John 3 16. But you know what? It's wrong. And none of them know that that was wrong. Everybody remember, but, but that was wrong. I, then today I will not tell them. Just the morning, you know, 10 o'clock, I show them, but I will not tell them. <coughs> I have been, I have told lots of people from so many times now. John 3 16, in Chinese, not one they know co translate correctly, not one Bible translate correctly. But the hard part is, English, they translate for God so loved the world. That he gave his begotten son, whosoever believe in him, and shall not perish but have everlasting life. Have the word for, but the Chinese translation do not have it. <clears throat> but they still do not know how to analyze John 3.16. That's the problem. They translate correctly, but not know how to interpret that scripture. So letter, what does that mean? They, they mean letter is printed word, printed on paper. Holy Spirit is after you read, like John 3, 16, then you pray, Lord, 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 what does it mean? And then you can, oh, I come up. That's what they mean. And here is what they mean over here, okay? But the real saying is, the letter means what? The Lord Moses. If you read, if if God give them the intelligence to read John, uh, my first, second Corinthians, chapter three, six to nine, then they will know. Okay. <clears throat> they say letter is word printed on paper. Do we have the yeah, second Corinthians chapter three, verse six. Second Corinthians chapter six. Chapter 3, verse 6. That's the scripture. And they say letter is word printed on paper. Spirit means pray to the Holy Spirit to give you the true meaning of the word. Then everybody has a different meaning. Letter is actually, letter is the law of Moses. Spirit means New Testament Bible. 
Okay? If you read on, you just, all you need is to read on. It says, it says Moses, his face was shining. Only one time, Moses' face was shining when he received the Ten Commandments. On Mount Sinai, we received the Ten Commandments. This is number one. And number two, he says, <coughs> carved on stone, engraved on stone. In the whole Bible, you only want one thing, engraved on stone. And that's the Ten Commandments, same thing. So when you know about this, then you come back to interpret. After you know, you read on, then you come back and interpret. God also made us sufficient as minister of a new covenant. When we do ministry, you see, works in a new covenant. You do things according to the Holy Spirit inspire you, the New Testament Bible too. Not by letter, laws of Moses. Now we are in a new and living way. New Testament way, according to the New Testament Bible, not according to the law of Moses. And if they know the truth, they should also at this time remember, okay? They should also at this time remember. We are now in a New Testament time. In a New Testament time, you do things according to the New Testament Bible. It should be common sense to everybody, especially for the Chinese people. Let's say uh, American, America. Remember we have a great, fantastic, proud president. His name is Donald Trump. Okay? He make America great again. He has way, his way of doing things. And now we have Joe Biden president. Of course, he did a lot of same thing, but something he did different. Okay? Especially he revised or overturned some of the regulations that Donald Trump <coughs> uh, written, not on some practice, some of them, okay? Now we have to do according to what he wants. Joe Biden. Joe Biden is in charge, he's a president now. Okay? But before that, it was in Donald Trump time. In China, it's even better. You have to start with Mao Zedong, Deng Xiaoping, Hu Jintao, oh, Jiang Zemin, Hu Jintao, now is what? Xi Jinping. Now everybody will listen to Xi Jinping, not even Mao Zedong. That's it? Now we are in New Testament time. We do things according to the regulation of the New Testament, not Old Testament, not especially not the Law of Moses. Because Acts chapter 15, a group of capable, educated, rich people, capable, you can say able people, rich people, educated people, marvelous believers, came up with an idea. You Gentile in Antioch, not just need to believe Jesus and be baptized and attain Church of Christ worship, you also have to obey the law of Moses and be circumcised. Because at that time, they had that problem. And that's why Apostle Paul had to write the book of Roman, Galatian, Hebrew. And now here, in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, he had to repeat this one. 
we are working in a New Testament. We do things according to a New Testament regulation. We do not do things according to the Ten Commandments anymore. Not that group is no good. That group will cause the same to go to hell. <clears throat> because of this one. Uh, I'm, as I say, I'm very thankful because I found this one. Romans chapter 3, 20. Romans chapter 3, 20. Therefore, no one will be declared righteous in his sight, in the sight of God, by observing the law of Moses. Rather, through the law, we become conscious of sin. Okay? <clears throat> no one will be declared righteous in God's sight by observing the law of Moses. See, now that we've are clear, that's the right way to handle correctly the scripture in the Bible. <clears throat> All we need is read 2 Corinthians 3 to 6. Everybody will know. Moses facing shining was at the time receiving Ten Commandments. And only one thing, the Ten Commandments, engraved on stone. So the law, here's another one, okay? So the law of Moses, somebody, some people are going to argue, how do you know this is the law of Moses? Okay, let them argue. <clears throat> Just tell them, is the name of the church in the Bible? They finish. We can stop there anytime. <clears throat> so the law was put, put in charge to lead us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. See that? We are saved by faith in Jesus, not in Moses. Now, now that faith has come, we are no longer, no longer under supervision of the law of Moses. Now, conclusion now. <clears throat> a new and living way to save our soul. Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place to see God, okay? The most holy place is the place that we see God. <clears throat> the, uh, by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, open for us through the curtain, that is, His body, the Church of Christ. If anyone do not know His body is the body of Christ, and the body of Christ is Church of Christ, anybody who do not know this, they will go to hell. So simple. Because they don't know the truth. Jesus promised the saved people know the truth. Especially the body of Christ, the church of Christ. This is simple to everybody, the common sense. But if they don't know this, they are not safe. Jesus to his disciples, he said to them, Go into all the world, preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and baptized will be saved. But whoever believes not will not be saved. For all of you who are baptized into Christ have proved yourself with Christ. For you died and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. This is the key. Everyone will be saved this way. Our life, make our life hidden in Christ. As I said a few weeks ago about homeless people in your city, it's one thing condemn all the people because all it is one boomer. He can take care of all of them. One person can take care of all those homeless. But we don't do it, and he does not do it. Okay? All, all we have, everybody has their reason. I have my reason, you have your reason. Uh, we can have holy, I mean, uh, homeless people sleep right here, but we don't do it. That's why we have to make sure our life hidden with Christ in God. Not because we are perfect. Uh, this is, we, uh, well, not because we are perfect. By the grace of God, we are saved because our life are hidden with Christ in God. Not because we are perfect. We will never be perfect. Make sure you agree, right? We will never be perfect. How can we be saved? In the church of Christ. 
and stay there because God has granted us to know the truth. By the grace of God, uh, Peter comes.